time for some bullish Cardano news, and we're talking about TVL. We're talking about millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars for Cardano, which people oftentimes forget. Cardano is relatively new to the space. They were founded in 2017. They've only been around here for about six years, yet they have remained in the top 10. People like to poke fun at Cardano, call it a stable coin. It doesn't move, but it was one of the top movers in the last cycle. It was a late mover, too. We're about 10x away from all-time highs right now. And we're going to talk about the total value locked in this video. And it's very bullish for Cardano. And we're going to break that down a little bit. Appreciate you guys, as always. Now, for the beginners out there, make sure you guys, no matter what, hit the subscribe button. For the beginners out there, what is TVL? And maybe it's just a refresh here. Total value locked. It's a metric used to measure the total value of digital assets, or in this case, Cardano, that's locked or staked in a particular DeFi protocol or platform uh, or DApp, okay? The higher the TVL or total value locked, the more trustworthy the platform or DApp is perceived to be. TVL is how many people basically said, I believe in this protocol so much that I'm going to go ahead and stake it over here for set amount of time because I believe in the long term and the longevity of this project. Now, Altcoin Daily, one of our most trusted YouTubers in the space, awesome, awesome content creators. They just put out this tweet, and I saw it, and I said, you know what? This is a video. So shout out to Altcoin Daily for checking this out. This is public information. You can go check this out. Total value locked, $148 million, which adds up to roughly $400 million Cardano right now. Okay, $148 million is the dollar number locked up. And you can see the change in the last 24 hours. Not much going on, but look what's happened here just to start the year in 2023. This is where it gets really bullish. This is what happened last year, 2022, and then we just flatlined, right? Throughout the summer, throughout the fall, and uh, into the winter months, it was actually sliding down, uh, down below 200 million ADA. And now we're back up here over 400 million ADA in the last few days. TVL as of today, 398 million. Just a few days ago, we were over the $400 million mark. This is bullish because more and more people here, as we roll along uh, in Cardano's history and into 2023, and hopefully we're getting closer to the start of a bull market than in this bear market, more and more people are looking at Cardano as a trusted protocol, as a trusted place to park their money long term. I know I have a few people in crypto that are good friends of mine, and they're not necessarily crypto heads. They're not in it every day, but they want to passively invest, right? And it's funny because two out of the three of those people, they invest in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, those three. And when you talk to people like that, that want to play the long game with crypto, Cardano comes up a lot. And that is showcased by how much money is locked up and the total value locked right here for Cardano. And here's the thing. We go back over to this tweet. A lot of people putting in Pulse Chain. And listen, no, no shade on Hex here. I, I think Hex is you know, very interesting. I, I just don't know enough, enough about it to really speak on it and say why it's better or worse than Cardano. Um, but it says, you know, Pulse Chain has 1.29 billion already, 2.09 billion on Ethereum. But let's take the Ethereum example here. 2.09 billion USD versus you know, the 150 million. Well, Ethereum has been around longer than Cardano. Obviously, it's massive. Uh, it is the household name. But the fact of the matter is when we go to coin market cap, when we look at layer ones. I mean, obviously, you got Bitcoin, you got Ethereum, you got Tether, BNB, which is, you know, not a layer one protocol, USDC, XRP, which is a little bit different. Then you got Cardano right here, right? I mean, XRP is a little bit different. It's kind of in a class of its own, right? Then you got a couple stable coins. BNB is obviously the biggest... Uh, native currency to the biggest exchange. Cardano's right here, right? In terms of market cap sitting here um, well above the 10 and $12 billion mark right now. So it speaks for itself and it's remained in or around the top 10 since its existence in 2017. So people can say what all they want. It's a slow mover. It's a stable coin. I'm a firm believer in Cardano for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons right here on this tweet. The TVL continues to climb, and we know what they're building. We know the leadership they have and what their goals are. I'm bullish on the future of ADA. We just got to play the long game here, and uh, we'll see what happens.
If you guys like the content, let me know down below. Also, smash that like button, subscribe down below as well, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.